remember being nervous about everything. Uh, so oh, look at this conversation. Yeah. I'm sure this is uh, going over well. I wonder if we can. Well, I've always felt like if we could produce some entertainment for the fans during a red flag, it would be a win-win. We this is, yeah. We might get some here. We need a microphone in there. All right, Jamie. Well, I was walking with Ryan Sieg, and then Ryan Sieg went over to have a word with Ty Gibbs. We saw the incident on track. What did you just say to him? Ah, uh, just, uh, you know what I mean? He knows what he's doing. He's got the best car in the garage, and then he just races you. <laughs> Not very smart early in lap 10, you know what I mean? So it, he's got the best car out here, uh, way out from everybody, but... Uh, just not smart on his part you know what i mean we're trying to just survive and make it through these two and just riding along and then all of a sudden you know you get packed with air and you're already free but just uh sucks for our cmr guys you know what i mean all of our guys work hard cowboy everybody on the team puts in together and you know what i mean we're, it's it's uh, we're trying to run three right now with a very slim crew so uh it's tough but it is what it is just <laughs> And he, he is the new guy in the in the series. He's running full-time. How important, Ryan, is it for you to do that, have words, let somebody know you're there and you see what they're doing? It's somebody that you have to race every week. Yeah, no, he definitely has probably got to learn his lesson, if you know what I mean. So is this finished today? I don't think so. All right. All right, there you go, Adam. Oh, something to watch for as the race goes on because we're only like 15 laps in, so we got a long way to go. I mean, we hey, we were just talking about this, being a young driver and the lessons you learn. How intimidating when someone double your age comes. The cameras were on you guys. You're talking back and forth. We heard from Ryan. What's your side of what happened? Yeah, you know, I mean, I got into him, and it was totally, it was, I mean, it was my fault, but we were all packed up underneath each other there, and... Once he started to get a little bit arrow free, um, I, I just, once it happens, it's so quick when they come to you. And I just didn't have enough time to get out of it. And we've seen it before. So I made my mistake on this, on that part. So, and I told him, like I said, if I, my goal is to wreck you or to, and to ruin your day, it would, you wouldn't have made it around another lap. And it was my fault. But I feel like we got a fast uh, Monster Energy Toyota GR Supra. And hopefully we don't have any precipitation here. <laughs> Are you concerned at all that this isn't over between you guys today on the track? I mean, if he wants to keep it going, he can. But like I said, it wasn't it wasn't my fault. I wasn't wrecking him for a win. I wasn't wrecking him at all. It was, you know, I made a mistake, but it wasn't like I was trying to do it on purpose. Thanks, Ty. Appreciate it. So this